And is, uh, is this going to become a trend for you guys, you know, coming out after halftime and really kind of putting the pedal to the metal? Um, today we just we went in the game, and uh, it was just a confusing game. The way they played their zone, um, we're just trying to figure it out in the first half. Um, obviously, we turned the ball over a little too much in the first half, and um, we just – the second half, we had a feel for what they were doing, so we kind of were able to attack the gaps and, and get to open spots uh, better than the first half. Um, but no, we have to start the game a lot better, um, and we'll do that. What was the feeling among you guys when you saw Luke go down and saw him have to go to the locker room? Um, I was scared. I didn't know how bad it was, but when he was holding his, his shoulder, I was just praying that nothing, uh, nothing bad would come of it. Um, and then obviously when he checked back in the game, I was had a, had a good relief in my my heart. So um, I'm happy he's okay, though. How do you think you guys handle playing with the the small lineup with Hauser at the at the five? How do you how do you handle? How, how do you guys handle that? You know, how do you, think you do you play well off of each other? Do you? you know? Yeah. Um, obviously, you're. It, you know, if Luke gets hurt or, or um, foul trouble or, or whatever it may be, uh, we're going to have to play with a small lineup. Um, so obviously, since we got here in the summer, we've been practicing. Um, you know, if we have that lineup in the game, which is, you know, going to happen at some times, um, we just got to play hard, uh, rebound, make sure we have to, we have to make sure we have to rebound um, with that lineup. Um, offensively, we'll be fine. We can space the floor. We got a lot of shooters on the floor when Sam's at the five. Um, but yeah, we just got to make a, a conscious effort of rebounding, and that's the biggest key when we have a smaller lineup. Seems like you guys got a couple of transition threes tonight. After every defensive rebound, you seem you sort of seem to drift beyond the three point line towards that wing spot that you like to shoot from. Is that just sort of the way things worked out, or is it as soon as you see someone get the rebound, you think, "All right, he could come to me for a three. I better get back there." Uh, me individually, or yeah. um, I mean, they took. I didn't shoot a three the first half, um, so. When when whoever gets the ball really, um, when we push it down the floor and Luke's running down the middle, um, we want a space. Um, and tonight, uh, I had the uh, ability to knock down two threes in that corner spot. Um, it just happened to be in that spot tonight. But um, usually, when when we get out and run, um, Luke's running down the floor. Uh, I try to space the floor um, and make it as easy as possible for for the guards to get in there and kick out. How are you guys feeling heading into you know Thursday's tournament? You know it's you know obviously we weren't here last year, but it's it's over the course of time that Wojo's been here, Marquette's played well in these early season tournaments, and it seemed to be a boost both of the past two seasons. Um, we're gonna go in there and play Michigan. They're you know they're a great team. Um, they're gonna be an NCAA tournament team this year, um, and we have to focus on Thursday night first. Um, we just got to come out and play as hard as we can. Um, I think, you know, with, with the preparation we're going to have from the staff, we're going to be able to do that. Um, and, you know, we just got to go out there, leave it all on the floor, knock our shots down, and, you know, hopefully we'll end up with, with a few wins there.